Okay, so this is the, the new CAT S60 smartphone. It's our new flagship in the range. And it's important to know, first and foremost, that this is a great rugged phone. So we've done everything on this device that's important in terms of uh, keeping the great rugged credentials that CAT are known for. So we've built uh, this device to be drop tested from 1.8 meters onto concrete. It's military spec, it's IP68, so waterproof and dustproof. So it really lives up to the kind of the specs and standards that are expected and needed on a, on a really top of the range uh, uh, flagship rugged device. But we wanted to do two really exciting things and add features that were important in this flagship product uh, to our device that, that we haven't seen in the market before. So the first thing to say is that this is the world's most waterproof smartphone. It can be taken down to a depth of up to five meters in water and used as an underwater camera for still shots or videos uh, and, and truly used to you know, film while you're snorkeling or while you're swimming. Uh, and it's, it's the first camera that's able to go to, to, to that level of uh, depth uh, on a phone. So that's the first of the, the two really exciting features. But the other really exciting feature is the thermal camera. So we worked with FLIR uh, to develop a, a small, uh, really micro lepton uh, thermal imaging sensor that can, that can sit and for the first time be integrated into a smartphone. And so this is the thermal camera here sitting alongside our 13 megapixel CMOS camera. And effectively what that does, oh sorry I've crashed the, uh, crashed the app there but we'll fire that up and open again. So what, what that does is in partnership with FLIR who are the market leaders in this space, who've been doing thermal imaging for the last 30, 40, 50 years uh, since cameras were the size of rooms, we've now got that technology and brought it right down into a, uh, into a, uh, into a, uh, a camera that can be integrated into a smartphone. So here you can see all the, the detail in the shot uh, coming through, uh, the heat coming off people's faces and people walking around. Uh, if I hold my hand out in front of the shot, you can see how you know, uh, see the heat on the on, on the picture there. We can add a uh, spot meter to uh, to this this picture here, and we'll actually be able to drag that around. Oh, it's, it's playing a bit up at the moment. I can I can move that around the shot. I can add multiple spot meters. And here's something really cool. If I go to a shot that I took earlier, firstly I can switch between the two shots because that's using both the two cameras simultaneously when it takes a photo. I can actually also add additional data to the to a shot that was taken. So I might want to focus on a particular area or in this case move, a, move items around or expand them and take out average temperature or the minimum and maximum temperature off an image too. So a lot of data that you can take off a, off a thermal image and use it in a, in a range of different practical scenarios. So there's also one other thing that's really cool about this. There's something called MSX technology that is specific to FLIR. And so all this edging detail that you see on the camera is coming from the CMOS camera in conjunction and overlaying that image over the top of the thermal image. So if I cover that up, and show you again, you'll see the image is just a th pure thermal image here with not a lot of detail. If I take my finger away, lots more detail and edges appear and you see all that extra, extra richness come through, which is great to deliver context in the shot. So that's, that's thermal imaging. Now where can this be used? Particularly we think in the construction industry and obviously as CAT we really care about that, that particular market. So if you're a, an electrician or electrical engineer and you're looking at a fuse box or a lighting rig and trying to ascertain if it's overheating or overloaded at all, that's one great use case. Or it might be a plumber who's just fitted under floor heating and it's blocked somewhere and so rather than lift up the entire floor to find the problem, they can isolate exactly where that is. Or look at a wall and see if there's a pipe a, a pipe behind a thin drywall if it's leaking because the water will be a different temperature to the wall that's around it. So lots of construction examples. There are also some great ones in terms of emergency first response. If you arrive at an accident site you can check for casualties around or see if a vehicle's been used recently by its tires being hot or the, 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 uh, the engine being warm. Or it might be, uh, it might be used by, uh, by mountain rescue or, or air based, uh, sorry, uh, land based uh, search teams if they're looking for heat sources. And it can see in the dark and through smoke, so the fire services can use this kind of thing. So there's a load of use cases for this, and it might be one of these kind of serious use cases. It might be finding your pets to call them in at night, or it might be you know checking the temperature of sausages on a barbecue. But there are thousands of use cases, and we're really excited to know how users will start using this technology now that it's small enough and convenient enough integrated into, a, into a, the Cat S60 handset.